not the best time of the year to be coming to North Wales, is it really? It's done nothing but persist it down since I crossed over the border from England this morning. It took me four and a half hours to come from the flatlands of Suffolk to the valleys here in North Wales, just outside of Llangollen. Uh, we're hoping to be paddling the, the River Dee this weekend, but it has rained a hell of a lot. Anyway, we're here in the roof tent for the week, so I'm just going to get all that set up, have a little bit of a nanny nap. So without further ado, we'll cut straight to the intro. <laughs> The cash and burnt it. Didn't want a reputation of chasing what's on the surface line. The things that I find would never satisfy me in the long time. And all the dreams I dreamt, they will never come alive. I am burning it down. I am burning it down. I am burning it down. Oh. The wealth that I need comes from within me If I look a little closer then I see it in me Shining brightly, these gifts are igniting Give it to me proudly from Almighty God Thank you for your mercy Oh, you give it to me freely oh, And even though I don't deserve you You choose to pursue me Hey, I said thank you for your mercy You give it to me freely oh, And even though I don't deserve you I'm a free man, I don't care what they would say Cause I am free from these prison gates I said, break these walls down and I don't need them Call the police, I'm a free man I don't care what they would say Cause I am free from these prison gates I said, break these walls down I don't need them Right, so that's the roof tent all set up. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take you through my sleeping setup. So first things first, I've got my boot bag that Ginger's made for me just here. So that's absolutely perfect so that I can sit on the side of the tent just here, kick off my boots, stick them in that bag, and uh, I don't have to get anything muddy inside. Sleep-wise here, so I've got my down quilt that Ginger's made for me here. So this is, realistically, it's a hammock camp in there. Um, quilt but I do use it for camping um, in the summer and in the autumn as well uh, but it's perfect for this when I was in the in the camper van it was absolutely spot on because it just doesn't take up no space and it's really really warm and then just at the back there I just got my dry robe there so if it does get really cold I can just hunker myself down inside of that and then inside of the tent here just at the top here I've got one of my bivy lights so that is currently on the inside there or you could just clip it on the outside and give yourself a little bit of light when you're trying to uh, manage a ladder after a couple of sherbets. Right, so that is the sleep setup. So we're all good to go. I've got the um, got the awning out and everything. I've just got to get a cup of tea on and go. And I'm going to have a nap, I think, after that drive. Uh, it's about four o'clock. I think uh, Matt is coming and Simon isn't leaving the deepest, darkest parts of Norfolk till later on. He's probably on his way now, actually. Uh, and that is if his landy makes it. So that's half the reason why I decided to come in this. Yes, we were going to uh, lift share and full share to come over. We were going to drive together. But uh, I just weren't so sure whether that landy of his was going to make it. And also I get to sleep in something comfortable as well. So I just want to take you through this little box that we've got here in the back of the truck here. So if, this is an ongoing project, this is. So eventually this is going to be a solar rechargeable power bank inside of here. So the box itself is about a 20 quid box off Amazon. I'll stick a link to that in the description below. And that holds a leisure battery inside and it's also got an inverter that is connected to the plug socket on the front here. And then on the front here I've got my voltage meter, I've got a cigarette adapter inside of there and two USB ports. So like I say, eventually this is going to be wired into a 200 watt panel that's going to be be stuck to the top of the cargo and then there'll be another extension running off this with some USB sockets inside of the cargo as well but like I said it's an ongoing project and I haven't really got around to finishing it off but really at the moment I need to charge my drone batteries so we shall plug that in and we'll get the batteries charged up right so that's nanny nap done 
Oh, I think I'm coming down with something, I will be honest. I feel quite shivery sat inside of this box. So I'm gonna find me other coat, I think. It is cold though, I must say it is cold. So it shouldn't be too long before Matty arrives. He's gonna stop in his van tonight. So I think what we're gonna do is head up the pub. There's a pub literally five minutes up the road here and have some decent food, I think. But in the meantime, I think I'm gonna have another brew. I don't think we're going to be paddling this this weekend. We did sort of think this actually because a few of the boys that were on this weekend uh, have dropped out already because of the because of the height of the water. Uh, it is just massively in flood. It's January, you know. I mean, every single river I've passed coming across this morning has been in flood, burst its banks, whatnot. Uh, but I can't see us paddling this uh, this weekend. Uh, but anyway, I've had the annual leave booked, and I wanted to come over and see Matty, and uh, hopefully Simon's coming up later on as well. So we'll have a weekend of uh, just doing some bits, whether it's walking, fishing, drinking. Uh, we might even paddle a Klangothlin uh, canal because that'll be all right to paddle. But this looks a little bit too much beyond my capability. It might be a little bit different further up, but uh, there's still plenty of rain forecast for tonight. So obviously that's got to go somewhere uh, and it has done nothing but rain this week, like I said. So it's obviously coming off the hills and uh, into the river here. But uh, yeah, I don't think we'll be paddling the route that we were planning. Right, so it's beer o'clock. Simon's turned up from deepest, darkest Norfolk. Matty's here as well. He's got his dog with him as well. So it's all looking good. So we're just gonna head up to the pub, have a couple of beers, have something to eat, and we're gonna decide what we're gonna do tomorrow. Obviously, it's a shame the other guys couldn't make it, but uh, you know, the conditions aren't great and we were looking to paddle the D and it would have been great to paddle the D, but the conditions that it is at the moment, it's not looking good at all, but we shall see what we'll do tomorrow. We're gonna to decide that when we get to the pub, work out what we're gonna do. Matty's got his pack raft, I've got my pack raft, Simon's got his canoe on top of his truck. So uh, there's plenty to do. You know, when you're in this part of the world, whether that river's not working at all, there's always something to do. So we'll get up to the pub and we'll work out what we're gonna do. Right, morning. I have a mouth like Gandhi's flip-flop. I think probably about six or seven ales fell down my throat in the pub last night. I didn't really do much filming last night, to be honest, because I was drinking. But uh, yeah, we had a nice evening, went to the pub in Garog there, and we just worked out what we're gonna do today, really. So we're gonna split today, that's what we're gonna do. So Simon's gonna head up and do some hill walking, and me and Matty are gonna take a couple of rods out of the truck and uh, we're gonna hit on the River Dee and hopefully do some trotting for some grayling. It's a species I've never caught and it's one fish that I've really, really wanted to catch all of my life. So hopefully we're gonna be able to do that. So hopefully this year, 2023, is, I'm gonna be able to knock off a few species of fish that I've never caught. So we're aiming for Xander, we're aiming for grayling, and then hopefully in the summer, we're gonna get some Arctic char when we head back up to Northern Sweden. So that's the plan. It is the year of new species. So yeah, so that's what we're gonna head, head up doing. So it is swollen, the river is really, really swollen, hence the reason we're not pack rafting and canoeing. We've knocked that on the head, it's just too much. It's, it's way above all of our capability to be paddling that river. It's really swollen, there's a lot of water moving, it's just too dangerous for us to do that. So that's the plan. So Simon's gonna head off and go do his thing and uh, we're gonna spend the night here again at the campsite here and, uh, and spend the day fishing on the river. And then tomorrow, we're gonna uh, pack up, we're gonna head up to a spot and do a bit of bothy camping, and then we'll meet Simon, hopefully up at the bothy there. Be quite interesting, looking forward to that. I haven't done any bothy camping for a while. Um, 
there is a bit of snow forecast for tomorrow so that should be quite interesting to be able to get up the hills and uh, hopefully wake up in the morning with a nice little bit of snow covering on the ground so yeah looking forward to that should be good anyway time to get a cup of tea on the go and get some breakfast well come to wales in january he said it is absolutely freezing the temperature has dropped down so much in the last couple of hours it's probably about three degrees so we are on lake alwyn i think it is thin alwyn that we're fishing today so it's about 13 quid to fish for the day and we're just going to walk around just with spinners and stuff you can fish with worms and stuff here as well um, so you don't have to specifically fly fish here but uh, it's cold it's very very cold i'm not so sure how we're going to get on so i'm just fishing with a little tiny meps at the moment and uh, we're just going to take a walk that way and uh, see what we can get trying anything at the moment to catch fish I'm literally just ledgering now a couple of split shots just on a piece of line with a worm uh, we've had a couple of knocks but nothing to take on the bank unfortunately but we are determined absolutely determined to catch a fish right that'll do it's gonna be a bit of a blankety blank for today I think we're both freezing it's now starting to sleet We've had a bash, anyway. We give it a go. But no fish on the menu today. Well, actually, yeah, there is fish on the menu today. It's salmon and pasta today. Right, I'm gonna pack up, make our way back to the van, and make our way back to the campsite. This is all a bit weird. We've suddenly got the HM Coast Guard chopper that has just landed just in front of the reservoir there. 